when we meditate, we keep coming back to the same old thing over and over again, the breath. So we can see if there's anything new. Oftentimes we won't see, we don't notice anything we no, haven't noticed before. But there's always the possibility there's something new that's going to come up, either in the breath energy or in your mind right here in the present moment. So you want to be ready for it. You want to be prepared. It's like a soldier on, on watch on a, over dangerous territory. Many times a soldier will just sit there and watch and watch and watch and nothing happens. But then something does happen and you have to be prepared. It's like someone who's up in a, one of those fire towers looking over vast areas of forest and hills on the off chance that there may be a fire. And when you see the fire, okay, you want to be able to notify things, notify the appropriate people so that you can deal with it quickly, because if you don't deal with it quickly, it spreads. It's the same with the mind. Greed, aversion, and delusion come up in little tiny forms to begin with, in little whispers. Just as we have micro-expressions on our face, there are micro-thoughts going through the mind. And this is how they usually start, little micro-thoughts, just hardly there, hardly registered. But there's some whispering campaign in the background. And if you're right here with the breath and you're alert, you're going to see this, and you're going to be able to deal with these things in time. Otherwise, they gradually build, build, build until become, they become actual, real thoughts, real emotions. And by that time, they've taken over the mind and the body. So you want to catch these things quickly before they turn into big trouble. So try to watch out for those little micro-thoughts that come through your mind, and try to keep the breath as steady as possible. Now, in the beginning, this means trying to breathe in a way that's refreshing and energizing so that as the breath calms down, you don't get stultified. You don't get put to sleep by the fact that the breath is really, really quiet. So in the, in the beginning of the meditation, take, that's why John Lee has you take all those deep, long, in-and-out breaths, get the energy level up, and then just let it gradually settle in. So as the breath gets more and more still, the events in the mind become more and more clear, more and more obvious. And this puts us in a good position to deal with the mind in time. And you're not a victim of these thoughts as they conduct their whispering campaign against you. 